Hello and welcome film buffs to this week's video. The movie we shall be looking at today is Rear Window, directed by the ever-famous Alfred Hitchcock in 1954. I am your host, Emma Bernard, and you are watching Flick Chicks. Rear Window features popular actors of the time, such as James Stewart and Grace Kelly. However, today I will be concentrating on the scenes containing Judith Evelyn in her role as Miss Lonely Hearts, specifically the technique of costuming and colour used by Alfred Hitchcock to depict her character and develop the story of Miss Lonely Hearts. Miss Lonely Hearts is only in 8% of the whole film, and that's rounded up. It's about 7 minutes and 40 seconds. This means that every moment of her screen time needed to mean something. With that, let's get to the first scene. 20 minutes and 34 seconds in, we get our very first look at Miss Lonely Hearts. She has a pink apartment and appears to be setting up for a romantic guest. It is later revealed that she is alone and pretending that she has someone over. She is wearing a pale green dress, red lipstick, however no jewellery or accessories. Alfred Hitchcock's choice of actress included her age, 45 at the time, and vibrant red hair. The colour red is very important when it comes to symbolism, especially in relation to romance. Red is associated with love, passion, desire, longing, lust, sensitivity, strength, stress, determination, courage, anger, and war. All of these words could be used to describe the character of Miss Lonely Hearts. War could represent her battles with suicidal thoughts and her loneliness. Determination and strength could be her rise from that, and her continuation with trying to find a lover after all these years. The pink on Miss Lonely Hearts' walls has a softer approach to romance. Pink is associated with tenderness, charm, sweetness, and playfulness. This first scene is a great introduction to the emotional roller coaster character. At 58 minutes 34 seconds, we observe Miss Lonely Hearts playing makeup and at one point puts on her black glasses to double check her red lipstick. She is wearing a bright green, deep v neck dress with a tightly cinched waist. She is also wearing a pearl necklace, large golden earrings and bracelet, white gloves, and black heels, handbag, and hat. Green is associated with life, renewal, energy, growth, and fertility. The green dress could then symbolize a renewal of her love life. The black glasses could symbolize a burden she has. Farsightedness, as it seems, could make her feel subconscious about her age and beauty. White is associated with purity, virginity, innocence, faith, beginnings, possibility, softness, and perfection. Black is associated with elegance, formality, and mystery. Pearls symbolize wisdom through experience, calmness, strength in relationships, purity, generosity, integrity, and loyalty. The way she is dressed makes the audience curious of who she is going to meet and if she could stay alone her whole life. Later, on that same night, we see Miss Lonely Hearts return to her flat with a young man. He is dressed in a navy suit with a white button-up underneath and a black tie. Dark colours like black can also be associated with evil, cunning, power and authority. This becomes apparent when he tries to take advantage of her. This makes a point that Miss Lonely Hearts cannot be the only problem in finding a partner. At 1 hour 26 minutes and 21 seconds, we see Miss Lonely Hearts contemplating taking an overdose of red sleeping pills. She is wearing a white rimmed light blue dressing gown or robe and can be seen picking up a book with a cross on it. We can assume this is a Bible. She is also wearing her bell necklace again. Blue is associated with depth, trust, confidence, faith, truth and heaven. What would have been her dying clothes symbolises that she can have a humble passing in something comfortable and maybe still hoping for a better future for her soul in heaven. The red colour of the pills could symbolise danger and despair. Miss Lonely Hearts again puts on and then removes her glasses at 1 hour, 32 minutes and 47 seconds as she assumedly writes her suicide note, which she leaves on the side table next to the red pills. Speaking of the red sleeping pills, L.B. Jeffrey's nurse, Stella, mentioned I've had enough of those red pills to put everybody in Hackensack to sleep for the winter. Which makes me wonder, Stella seems to care for people with serious illnesses or injuries, so perhaps Miss Lonely Hearts had or has a debilitating condition. How else would you get your hands on such strong, seemingly prescription pills administered by a nurse. The final scene is at 1 hour, 45 minutes and 57 seconds. Miss Lonely Hearts is seen in the aspiring musician's room. His music has stopped her from committing suicide, and this looks to be their happy ending. The musician is wearing a white short sleeve button-up and light blue slacks with a black belt. Miss Lonely Hearts is wearing a light green, light blue and white floral dress, also with a black belt. She is wearing no obvious jewellery, which may symbolise her being comfortable with his company. The matching belts and colours between the two may be showing their connection and relativity in their emotions throughout the movie, as well as a hint for the audience to predict a conclusion for the two. They may live happily ever after. 
To wrap things up, Alfred Hitchcock was an amazing director and displayed many techniques to convey suspense, including costuming and colour. That's it for today's Flick Chicks episode, and make sure to suggest what I should study next. Goodbye!